has been identified as um, the man behind an attempted homicide case. Why, why defend him? And if, if he has confessed to being a member of the Davao Death Squad, he's killed a lot of people, why lawyer for him? You know, uh, defending Matubato is not only defending his person or his innocence or guilt. It's more about the truth you know, that he represents. Uh, it's, it's about the truth about the Davao Death Squad. This does not involve him personally. And I think that is more important than defending him as a person. Because we will never know the truth about the Davao Death Squad and the involvement of President Rodrigo Duterte unless we have Matubato as a witness. We, we should even be grateful that Matubato came out to testify because the Davao Death Squad still has just remained to be a, a subject of urban legend. The CHR conducted an investigation way back in uh, uh, 2009, if I'm not mistaken. The Ombudsman conducted and they, they did not have any evidence to implicate the President in the Davao Death Squad. Now, with the testimony of Edgar Matubato and later on the corroboration of uh, Arthur Lascañas, we, we now have a clear picture mm -hmm. of the Davao Death Squad.